Rather Good Coaching presents. Hello, I'm Karen Adams of Rather Good Limited, and today I want to talk to you about a study that shows us something very interesting about the nature of people. This study is called Pygmalion in the Classroom, and it took place in 1965, though there have been other studies since then that proves more or less the same thing. Now, Pygmalion is a sculptor of Greek myth, and he was such a fabulous sculptor that his creations seemed incredibly lifelike. And one day he was feeling lonely, so he went and carved a wonderful, lifelike representation of a woman, and Julie fell in love with her, because it's a Greek legend and that's what they did. And so he prayed to the gods for this statue to come to life, so he could marry her and actually live with her in a way that wasn't creepy and weird. And the gods did that, they brought the statue to life. And fortunately, the personality of the sculptor went very well with the personality of the ex-statue, and they were married and they lived happily ever after, which is marvellous. So anyway, this story was apparently incredibly inspiring to the creators of this study, Robert Rosenthal, a Harvard professor, and Lenore Jacobson, a primary school teacher. They came together and did a study based on expectations. They got together a bunch of primary school children and they got them all to do an IQ test. When they got the results from the IQ test, they went to the teachers and they identified a group of students who were expected to do particularly well based on this IQ test, based on these expectations, they would do well in the future. Based on the... And they identified a group of students who were expected to do particularly well in the future based on their scores in the IQ test. And they came back a year later and they measured the improvement in those students. And it was much higher than the rest of the class. And that's really interesting because actually the results of the IQ test, those bloomers were not special. The results of the IQ test were irrelevant. The students were picked at random. They weren't bloomers at all. There was nothing exceptional about them, except the fact that they were told that they were exceptional. They were treated as if they were exceptional. The difference that made the difference was their teachers believing that they were exceptional and treating them in that way. That created the change. And there have been many other studies since then that have proved exactly the same thing. Our expectations of other people can influence what they actually do, their actual outcomes. And that's tremendously empowering, because that means that by tweaking our expectations, by believing in the positive intentions of people, we can actually help create those positive outcomes. It's certainly worth an effort. So let me know how you get on and tell me about your experiences. Stick it in the comments below or contact me at rathergoodcoaching.com. Take care. Cheerio.